everyone, I'm Liz Brown Swanson here at the Point Vicente Interpretive Center to remind everyone to come on down here on March 11th for the 33rd annual Whale of a Day celebration. And I spoke with one of the events organizers out on the back patio to find out about this whale of a tradition. Well, as you said, it's Whale of a Day, 33 years this year, so it started in 1984. And it is a day set aside to bring the community together and the docents of Los Serenos de Point Vicente to celebrate the migration of the Pacific Gray Whale. So talk a little bit about the mission of, of Whale of a Day. As you said, it's been going on for more than three decades. Again, to educate about the whale migration, but also have fun. Yeah, so the mission, again, is to educate and celebrate. So we want to celebrate the migration, and we also want to educate the community. We live in an incredible area where we can see spectacular views of what's happening, and uh, we have a unique opportunity to see this on a daily basis, especially December through April. So we typically host it, uh, usually in March, at a time where the migration is at a peak, and it, we are tracking a little bit higher this year as compared to last year, and it will be a great day to possibly see some great whales, and we have a lot of vendors and organizations coming in almost 60 vendors and organizations total um, and music and food all kinds of things and it's definitely a family event a lot of fun is there anything new this year that we can expect at whale of a day one thing new that we have that we're excited about from the docents of the Los Serenos de Point Vicente, they have a puppet show and they're going to be having that inside the interpretive center and that's for kids and for families it's in a very small venue so they're going to offer that puppet show three times throughout the day you mentioned that the city partners with Los Serenos. They, of course, are the organization here at the Interpretive Center. They do do they give us tours and talk about that partnership and how important that is. Definitely. It is a strong partnership. Uh, the docents are here. They volunteer every day throughout the year. I except for, I believe, New Year's Day and Christmas Day. Other than that, they're here every day, 10 to 5, and they offer hike tours, they offer tours, and they tell people a lot about the whale, and they know everything inside and out about this area, our history, the cultural history, as well as the whale. So the city and the docents partner together for this event, and the docents really are the ones behind it who bring the education into it. They bring a lot of the area organizations into it as well. So everything that we have here that day where we're learning about whales, is from the docents. Of course, another organization we have to mention is the American Cetacean Society. They're back here on the patio. They do the whale watch count every year. The bell's going to be ringing when they see they see a whale out there. So very exciting. We're going to see whales that day, right? <laughs> Definitely, I think so. Yes. Yeah, we'll have our team here. This is our thirty fourth annual year of doing our gray whale census, full season census, December through May, and our volunteers will be out here between six in the morning and six at night counting the whales. We've had about 30 today. I know you're 34th and of course 33rd annual whale of a day, lots to celebrate. What do you enjoy most about the event? Oh wow, well the whales of course, but also all the visitors that come. It's a great opportunity to educate people and to share all the whales with them, all the animals that we get to see. Tips, I always ask you that. Tips for watching for the whales and spotting them. I know it takes patience, number one. Patience is number one because you could have a several hours with no whales and be like today, suddenly the whales are coming and we're trying to keep track of all of them. If you have binoculars, bring them if possible. What we're doing is we try to spot a blow or the spout of the whale. They usually travel these gray whales by themselves and most will be going north at that point, but sometimes they could be in groups of two or three or four. Look for a back that has like knuckles like on your hand instead of a dorsal fin. And then many times they'll fluke or raise their tail when they go down for a dive. All right. Well, we will be seeing you at Whale of Day. Anything you want the community to remember about that special day, it is to celebrate the migration. Absolutely. That will be pretty close to within a week or so of our peak week for the entire season. So it should be absolutely amazing with whales hopefully all day long and we'll be ringing a bell whenever we see the whales. So come and help us spot the whales and help us track and be part of our citizen science project for the American Cetacean Society Los Angeles chapter. What are you looking forward to? I know you're new with the city but you, you, you're from San Pedro so you're local. Yes, I always look forward to on days like this where we bring the community together. We have the live music. There's a lot of fun energy. We have, we expect about 3,000 people to come in for this. So I love bringing everyone together and having the families. And my favorite thing about Point Vicente is the trail and walking up and down the trail, seeing the whales, if the, you're lucky, um, and just enjoying the scenery and this beautiful place we get to live. And anything, and last minute tips for those that are coming. You said there'll be about 3,000. I know that you can't drive here typically, so talk about just all of that, how people will come on March 11th between 10 and 4. 
Well, as you said, uh, people can't park here. So my first and biggest tip would be parking. So what we've arranged for parking is we will have shuttles and the shuttles will allow people to park up at City Hall for RPV and then the shuttles will pick them up and take them down here and drop them off. The shuttles are free and they're running all day long from 10 to 4 and that is again the only place to park up at City Hall. As we wrap it up here, what a great place for you to work. Uh, have you had much luck spotting whales yourself? I'm curious. Since I've started in uh, November, I've seen two whales. And of course, we know we'll be seeing a whale of a day. Anything you want to add again to remind the community just about the time? And I know it's March 11th, Saturday from 10 to 4. Yes, and I do want to add, if it's raining that day, the rain date, the backup rain date is April 8th. Um, but my only other advice would be to come with an open mind and be prepared to learn. There will be a lot of activities, a lot of things for the kids. Of course, parents can always partake as well. Uh, a lot of things to help people learn about the whale and have fun. All right, so I'll say it one more time. We hope to see you here at the Interpretive Center on March 11th for the Whale of a Day celebration. And of course, we're all going to have a whale of a time. I'm Liz Brown Swanson reporting for RPV TV. Hope to see you at Whale of a Day.